Hi ladies, today I'm going to be showing you how to encapsulate roadmap, the actual roadmap I cut out, um, onto the nail. So I've seen a lot of people use these as like water slides, you know, transfers where they dip them in alcohol and press them onto a white nail. And, uh, yeah, of course you can do it that way, but I just wanted to show y'all another way to use it by actually encapsulating it into tip. Now, what I've already done is I actually took this plastic tip and I used it to trace um, the pattern for the smile line. So, let's say you, you get your tip the size that you need, like let's say right here. What you'll actually do is you push the map up into the tip like that and then draw around it and that's how you get your smile line. Alright, and I've already done that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to start um, applying this onto the tip. Now I've already done the nail bed. And of course I need to cut this to size. I just realized I hadn't trimmed it yet. Alright, there we go. Trim the size. Now, of course, you can do this as long or as short as you want, but this time we're going to do it at a more feasible length. Alright, so I've got my road map and everything, and what I'm going to do is I'm bending this, kind of just shape it, because this paper is, you know, got a, a good thickness to it. So I'm going to start bending it to try to get it to that shape. That way it's easier to put on. Now I've had trial and error. Just like I do with everything. I, I, I tried a couple times to see how it works. And I have found the easiest way to do this. Is to actually start off by gluing these corners down. And so I'm just taking some nail glue. Going right along there. And I've already got this bent to my shape. I'm just going to line it up right on the nail and I'm going to hold this until the glue dries make sure it's shifted exactly where you want it this just makes it so much easier because I tried to attach it with acrylic at one time and it really didn't work that well now you see how flushed it's getting and we will trim off the excess of the paper we're just trying to get the initial start of it. All right there, so there we go. Now what I'm going to do is get my scissors. I'm going to look underneath there and I'm going to start cutting off this excess paper. I'm trying to stay in frame the best that I can so y'all can actually see what I'm doing. So there, I've cut that side. Now I'm going to go over here and cut this side. There we go. There's a little bit of a piece still there, so I'm actually going to take these and just snip it right off. There we go. So now we've got it cut to shape. Now we're going to encapsulate it. I'm trying to do this to where I'm not cutting any of the video so y'all can see step by step. My last one I had to cut parts of it because it took me forever to get those little stars into the aquarium now. So now I'm going to pull up a bead of clear acrylic and I'm just going to place it onto the nail. I don't want to, to stroke it on. We're just going to place it 
and pat it into place. Now it's okay if you don't go all the way up right at first. You're just trying to get it on there initially. And see, I haven't done any motions this way. I'm just patting. Because just like any paper, you know, that's got something printed on it, it will start to run and everything, so... That's why we're just patting it, because the more you drag your brush down it, the more it's going to smear, and we don't want that. Okay, so I've got it completely encapsulated right there. So now we're just going to pat this all into its shape. There's a piece of glitter. <laughs> if you see an air bubble, you can just pop it. Now you're going to want to pull this acrylic over and slightly cap that edge. If you don't, water's going to get in there and ruin your little map. So I'm pulling it, and then I'm actually folding it right over. Like so. Okay, now I'm actually going to take a blending bead. We've got it pretty much the way I need it, but we're going to take a blending bead. We're going to start up here at the cuticle. We're going to just lightly feather it down just to blend it. Okay, and there we go. That's how it looks right now. And we're going to let this dry, and then I'll be back to file and shape it. Okay, we're back, and the tip is dry. So we're going to start shaping and filing it. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I'm done filing and shaping it, and right now I'm applying my UV top coat, or you can use Sesh V or any top coat that you have, really. And there is the finished look. As you can see, nothing bled or smeared or anything. You can still see the, the road map really easy. So... I hope you all give this a try, and uh, as always, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.